Hey everyone, welcome back to Great Sports Debates. We got your NFL picks for week three. Stay tuned. Lots of money to be made. As a reminder, 11 and 5, another good week last week. But we're kicking it off with Thursday night football with a huge line. We got the New York Giants at San Francisco, with San Francisco favored by 10 points. Now, you know uh, from last week I said, we're going to ride with San Francisco and Dallas unless they're facing some monster lines. And as big as 10 points is, and as much as I hate to lay double-digit points just because of back doors, uh, you know, cheap closeout, Sean McVay's, we're going to go with San Francisco minus 10. I picked that game 30 to 18, so I got to be true to my scores. I got to be true to my picks. I do feel like there's a little bit of value here uh, for San Francisco because they're just a really great all-around team. Next on the docket, we got the Colts and the Ravens with the Ravens favored by eight. Now, we've been on the Ravens the first two weeks. Uh... I mentioned I thought that they were a little bit underrated and they were going to do really well against teams. But with eight points here, I don't know. I got right now, assuming Richardson's healthy and good to go and we don't have injuries on the Colts. So look at that before we, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll make a short if we update this score or this pick. But assuming everyone's healthy on both sides, I like the Colts to keep it close and, and maybe even have one of those backdoor Sean McVay type covers. Um, I got Baltimore 28-24. I could see them winning by three. I could see them winning by a touchdown. I could even see them blowing Indy out. But eight points. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take in eight points and go with Indy. They've... Uh, they, they, they've held strong against the spread as well. All right, uh, next game we got Denver at Miami. Okay, the word is out on Miami. Maybe I shouldn't be preaching it here for free all the time. You know, those were two best bets. Those were easy money. You know, the first game, Miami was an underdog. I said, hey, they're going to win the game straight up. They did. You know, last week they easily covered. Now they're facing a big number, but it's against Denver. I got Miami winning 33-24. to I got to take Miami minus 7. You know, uh, just kind of nervous. A lot of big lines this week. But we're going to keep riding Miami uh, until they prove us wrong. Or, you know, the number's too big against a team that's too good. Next up, we got the Patriots and the Jets. I picked New England here, 20 to 15. Not super high in either of these teams. You know, New England's in a tough spot. They're 0 and 2. Um, Zach Wilson, I mean, we called it last week. I said, hey, I have a hard time seeing the Jets scoring more than 10. And, you know, that was against the Cowboys. Uh, but, you know, New England's pretty good defensively, too. And with the Jets only getting two points, that's not enough to sway me to their side. Let's see if New England can make something happen here. And uh, cover only, only giving up two points. All right, next we got the Texans and the Jags. This is Jags minus nine and a half. Uh, again, you know, we got to be honest to... to you know, scores, I try to create the scores before I look at the lines. It's kind of hard sometimes, uh, you know, because just with what we do, you know, sometimes you see them anyhow. But I did have Jacksonville 31-20. to 20. Houston's got blown out twice this year already. I, I, I'm riding the Jags minus 9.5. Uh, you know, again, these are initial opening lines. Uh I'm going to wait until Tuesday or Wednesday to, to push this so these lines might adjust a little bit. 
But I do figure we'll be on Jacksonville here versus Houston. Okay, Tennessee at Cleveland. After watching that horrendous Monday night game where Cleveland really couldn't do much after Chubb went out. And Deshaun Watson, maybe he's even regressed because he looked really, really bad. I mean, he threw so many balls that were uncatchable out to the sidelines, behind guys. Um, the offense is so bad and the defense is so good, but you know the defense is going to give up some points because the offense is so bad. And then Tennessee, you know, one of two teams that have proved me wrong twice already. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm throwing up 2020 as a score. I can't really decide. But the fact that I'm getting four and a half with Tennessee, I really like that. We're going to go Tennessee and take the four and a half points. Okay. Next one here, we got Atlanta versus Detroit. I picked Detroit to win 30 to 28. I see this game is a game where both teams score. And, you know, the defenses are not really stopping each other. I really do want to pick Detroit here. They're giving up four and a half. I mean, based on my score right now, I'm going to go with Atlanta. However, I might do a short, um, you know, Thursday-ish or Friday-ish with any changes, especially with any movements in the line. Uh, you know, this one, even if the line doesn't change, I might decide I want to go Detroit. Kind of hard after what happened in Seattle. And uh, I don't know. But for right now, we're taking Atlanta in four and a half. New Orleans versus Green Bay. Oh, Green Bay minus two. I got Green Bay 27 to 24. Not super confident on this one. Don't really trust either of these teams that much. This is definitely one. Don't bet this. Or, I mean, if you have your own thing that you want to bet on it, great. But, you know, don't take my word and, and, and bet on this one because, eh, eh. I'm still trying to figure it out with these two teams. They both got new quarterbacks, and uh, neither are quite where we would hope they'd be. Okay, Buffalo and Washington. I, you know, I picked Buffalo 31 to 24. The line's six and a half, so it's right there. I, I'm still going to go with Buffalo. I'd definitely rather have Buffalo minus six and a half than have Washington in hope. I know Washington hasn't lost this year. Um, but, you know, Buffalo's a different level. You know, hopefully we're getting Buffalo from a few days ago and not Buffalo from the week before. But I'm leaning Buffalo here, and I'm going to throw in an extra bonus and give you guys one I'm betting on, and I'll make sure I don't release this in, until I get that bet in because I wasn't actually able to get that in tonight, but I'm going to get it in tomorrow morning. I'm looking to tease... I thought about a parlay, you know, get the better payout. But I really feel like it's a strong tease play, even though the payout's not going to be as good, to tease the Buffalo and the Miami game, where both of those teams are favored. Uh, you know, where I saw somewhere else, the six and a half, this line that I'm looking at has the Miami game seven and Buffalo six and a half. But either way, Tease both of those games down to half a point or, you know, worst case scenario, if you have to make it one for the uh, Miami side, that's pretty good value right there. I mean, yes, it, it it's not always great odds wise when you have to win two games, but if you can get two games where it feels like a pretty big mismatch like this, like Buffalo versus Washington. Uh, you know, I got some people that say, hey, you know, maybe maybe Buffalo's not, not a sure thing straight up against Washington. But I seem to really like it. And I think everyone's kind of on board that, you know, Miami straight up against Denver is a pretty good bet. Um, 
You know, you, you, you could money line it and you're sitting at, I don't know, probably like minus 300. Um, I haven't looked at it, but I figure with that point spread, you're probably minus 270, minus 300 range. So you tease them together and you get a little bit closer to even money. But that's just a little extra added bonus I'm throwing in there for y'all uh, this week. So if you stayed this long and you listened, that's a very solid bet. Okay. Another one we got uh, the Chargers at Minnesota. I initially had Minnesota winning by one. The game on this line is a pick em. I flipped it to the Chargers plus one. And I said I wasn't going to back the Chargers anymore because it kind of sucked, you know, twice in a row. Um, and. God, I really thought that they were going to cover against Tennessee. Um, but <laughs> this is this is a tough game. This is a one where I think we're going to have some offenses moving. I didn't check the over-under line on this yet, but maybe a good play for an over. I'm throwing out a score of 27-26. So, I mean, obviously, I wouldn't say obviously, but I would assume that the over number isn't that high. Maybe that's the way you want to go if you want to bet that game. All right, uh, Carolina and Seattle. Uh, the little bits I've seen in Carolina just look bad. Really bad. Doesn't look like they can move the ball that well. Uh, Young is kind of showing that he's a rookie. They got ran all over the field. I mean, of course, Atlanta does that to everyone. But Seattle, I see more of the same. Seattle's just giving up four and a half. Um, you know, it, it doesn't seem enough. I feel like Seattle's a six, seven point win here, especially at home. I got Seattle 27 to 21, and I can see it being worse than that. Uh, Seattle minus four and a half is a pretty good bet. Uh, I don't know if that's one that I'm going to bet or not, but it's definitely in that range. Chicago at Kansas City. Who man. Man, Kansas City is getting minus 12 and a half. Um, you know, that's probably where it should be. Uh, you would think it wouldn't be quite that bad with Kansas City losing by one week one or whatever that was. And then I think they beat the Jags by like eight or nine. So 12 and a half is a big number. I threw down 28 to 16. Which would mean I would be rocking with Chicago. No, I, I I can't do it, man. Chicago, Chicago's lost by double digits in both their games, and uh, you know Kansas City's offense hasn't broken through the way I expected to yet. But uh, I'm gonna readjust the score or, or something. I just I gotta take Kansas City minus twelve and a half. So maybe that's one I kick myself for later, but uh, yeah, Kansas City minus 12 and a half. All right, next game, we got Dallas versus Arizona. Same ginormous line, 12 and a half. I'm a little more comfortable here going with Dallas. Again, I picked this game 30 to 17. So it's not like, oh yeah, I love this. You know, Dallas is on the road, but they've been crushing people so far. And uh I'm going to ride with Dallas until they prove me wrong here. Uh, their, their defense looks lights out. Um, I I can see them scoring some points for them, putting them in some good position, getting some good key turnovers, you know. Hopefully we don't get any bad deck and uh, they can cover that 12 and a half. Again, that's a big number. Um, so maybe not one you want to lay, but Dallas has been hitting the big numbers so far. Next up is Pittsburgh versus Las Vegas Raiders. I really don't like either of these teams. The Raiders are getting one point at home. I know I put on the pick here. Pittsburgh 21 to 20. But God, I watched that Monday Night Football, and even though they scored more than I thought they would, I still somehow became less impressed with them. Uh, 
Both teams are one and one. Neither team has looked super good. I think this game's going to be low scoring. I think the Raiders are going to have a hard time against that Pittsburgh defense. Um, I think Pittsburgh's offense is going to have a hard time no matter what, no matter who they play. Uh, maybe this is an underplay. I don't know how low the line's going to be on the over-under. I put down 21 to 20 here. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and make an audible here. Not one I'm going to bet, but I'll take the Raiders and the point. Uh, this is another one I could definitely see myself changing my mind on again, but I don't know. Two weeks I've seen Pittsburgh, and two weeks I haven't liked Pittsburgh. And, I mean, to be fair, um, that, the Raiders weren't anything to write home about either week either, but I'm going to go with the Raiders here. Raiders at home, plus one. All right, we're getting down to our last two games here. We got the Philadelphia Eagles at Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay has been good to us so far. Like we mentioned before, they were probably the most overvalued team last year. They seem to be undervalued this year. Maybe this is one I missed out on. Uh, looking at the wins total, it's kind of sketched out about how the whole quarterback situation would be. So I didn't touch it. But... God, this is such a tough one, too, because I really like the Eagles. Tampa Bay's getting six and a half. I mean, if that thing touches seven, I really, I'd just take Tampa Bay at that point. Um, but even at six and a half, I think I'm going to lean Tampa Bay's way. Their defense has played solid. It'll be interesting to see as good as their defensive play has played if Philly's able to, to just run the ball on them. They looked really impressive running the ball uh, last week. And if Baker Mayfield's going to make enough plays to win the game, I don't, I don't think they're going to win the game against Philly, but it'll, at least to make some plays to keep it close. We're leaning Tampa Bay 6.5 right now. And finally, we got our upset special. We got the games we do every week sometimes. People want to say, hey, who's the underdog you have winning straight up? Now, I'm not going to take the Rams straight up, but I'll pick them here 27-24 to 24 against Cincinnati. And uh, I'm definitely I'm definitely going to bet the Rams plus 5.5 because I do think they can win this game outright. Um, you know, two weeks Cincinnati hasn't looked great. The Rams are better than advertised. I have, if you saw the power rankings, I have the Rams ranked ahead of Cincinnati right now. Rams are clicking on all cylinders. Their offense looks great under Matt Stafford. Their defense is good enough. Cincinnati has not shown anything that's impressed me yet. They do have the talent. But we're going with the Rams, plus five and a half. That's a best bet. That's a good bet. Not quite as good as that teaser bet I gave you, but... You can put some units on that game. So that's everything I got for the picks this week. Let me know what you think. Hit me in the comments if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, if you wanted, you're wanted, you looking to do any kind of round robins and parlays. I got a few ideas in my head. Um, but if you want to know anything else, let me know. You've seen a record across all sports. We're crushing it. And... Like, subscribe, and comment so I know I'm giving you what you want. Thanks a lot.